The following review is in sanction, sponsored, or endorsed by Samsung. Bummer. You know, smartphones come and go. Whether they're iPhones, Android, or Microsoft phones, each company wants to outdo the competition. So how does Samsung's newest Galaxy stand out? While I won't go into too much detail, I'll be looking at the following. I'll be looking at the video quality, picture quality, battery life, ease of use, and time it takes to boot up. Let's start with how easy it is to use. And all I can say is besides the improved hardware that went into it, it really isn't that much different from previous models. If you know one smartphone, you probably know them all. The battery life I have for my S10 Plus is roughly 12 hours. One thing I like to consider is if I don't need to use it, then I don't need it on. Speaking of turning on, the S10 Plus takes about 21 seconds to turn on. That's usually about average for any smartphone. The camera takes really nice pictures and the quality is clear and smooth. This is what the video sounds like with my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. One thing to keep in mind is the price and just like all smartphones, it's very pricey. I may not have mentioned this in my prepay versus contract videos, but take into consideration if you plan on upgrading or purchasing, it's going to be very expensive, regardless of the provider. And that's normal for contract phones with the first billing cycle. Once the first cycle's done, then the monthly bill is more consistent. Another thing I don't like is in order to find other apps, you have to swipe the screen upward. My old phone had an apps button, which makes it more convenient. There's not much else to talk about without boring you with technical details. Overall, if you have a phone that was released less than two years ago, just keep what you have. Otherwise, upgrading wouldn't be a bad idea. This phone gets four stars out of five.